Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Um, yeah, Catherine asked me to do some uh, do some pruning while she's at work, so I'm just uh, cleaning up pruning's man style, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just finish off out here, and I'll um, I guess I'll meet you inside. Hi, welcome back. Um, just a couple of things today. Um, first of all, um, I've actually created a Google Plus um, page for Tortuga. Um, if you have a look in the description below, you'll find a link to it. Um, so it's a way for me to more uh, actively interact with, uh, with people out there who are watching. Uh, and I'm hoping to use it uh, instead of Facebook actually to recruit players for the game. So if you're interested in, um, in playing in one of the future games, maybe the next one, uh, which will be uh, Scotland Yard. So uh, yeah, if, if you're interested, join up and uh, give me a plus one, um, and uh, yeah, you'll find some uh, interesting and uh, and unique content on there that you're not getting through the videos. So check that out. Also, when you have a look on there, you'll also see that um, I've I've got a logo for the show now. Um, one of my friends who I went to high school with, uh, Chris, he's put together a uh, just a little static picture for me. Um, but he tells me he's going to put it into a um, into an animation for me, so that'll be good. We'll look forward to that in the future. Um, it probably won't be ready for next series, but maybe the series after that it should be um, should be up and ready, um, which is good because I'm running out of ideas for things to be doing when you guys interrupt me. Um, okay, so that's my uh, that's my spiel for the, for this time. Um, I'll see you guys over at the board. Welcome back to the dungeon. Uh, we'll start again today as we always do with Elrois, and uh, having positioned himself behind the Barbarian ready to heal, he's going to cast the Heal Body spell. This spell may be cast on any one player. It will restore up to four body points that have been lost. The spell is then discarded. Okay, so he casts this spell uh, on Wilhelm, increasing Wilhelm's body points by four, uh, and having cast the spell, he will now move his full allotment back towards the monsters. just behind the friendly dwarf Lothario. Alright, that concludes Elroyce's turn for this go. Uh, now we'll move on uh, to Lothario. So Lothario is going to move up uh, to the corner. And uh, she can now see the, uh, the mummy through the door. So she's going to have a shot at the mummy with her crossbow. Three dice in attack for the crossbow. And a double hit there. So, now the uh, mummy's going to have to try and defend itself. Mummy defend with four combat dice. They are quite a nasty opponent and we haven't come across one yet, so... Four dice for the mummy. And even though it's tried very hard to defend itself, it is killed by the crossbow. And as it falls to the ground, I am sorry, Master, I have failed. Oh dear. There goes all of my chance, probably, to uh, kill anybody. Anyway, alright, so that is Lothario's turn. Now we will move on to Wilhelm. Our stealth ward barbarian is going to hurtle himself down the hallway as he does towards the, uh, towards the distant enemy. Uh, having been recently healed, he's feeling much more bold, but he will not be able to get there until next turn. That will end his turn. Okay, so now we will go on to Barabel. Barabel, uh, even though he cannot see any enemies from where he is, he's actually going to cast a spell. He's going to cast Fire of Wrath. This spell may be cast on any one monster or player anywhere on the board. It will seek out your enemy and inflict one body point of damage, unless your opponent can roll a shield on one combat die. The spell is then discarded. Okay, so Barabel casts the spell, waves his hands, it definitely dodges around all of the heroes around down the corridor, swings through the door, and uh, impacts upon the zombie. So the zombie's now going to have to try and defend itself. And unless I can roll a shield on this combat dice, all of the monsters on the board will be destroyed. So we will hope, please. And alas, the heroes have successfully defeated every monster on the board. I can tell you that there are no further monsters for them to kill. So all that remains for them to do is to get into that middle room and see if they can find this amulet that they've been searching for. 
and thus concludes turn 14 and indeed concludes all combat that's going to occur in this game. So uh, well done to the heroes, they've managed to uh, pretty resoundingly beat me, I didn't even manage to drop one of them. Um, I, I put that down to a very unlucky gargoyle actually, he, uh, he really should have done a lot more. Um, anyway, we'll, uh, I'll see you next turn for the finale uh, and, a, and a little bit of a wrap up video as well. So my name's Tinny and once again thank you for watching Tortuga.